played all the different shades and cultures. So I ended up being called Miscellaneous Brown, and then I ended up writing a joke about it and saying that, you know, I know I'm standing up here, Miscellaneous Brown, and people enjoyed it. So here I am, Miscellaneous Brown, and I saw a show called Comedy Goddamn Comedy Jam on the, on online, and I saw it, and it's it was stand up comics, and they would do stand up comedy, and then they would do a karaoke song. And so I thought that's nice that they have Goddamn Comedy Jam, but how the heck are you gonna have a Filipino not hosting a karaoke show? <laughs> Am I right? We are the masters of karaoke. You know, we're growing up Filipino, you don't get to see examples of Filipinos on TV. You really don't. Am I right, guys? I mean, you don't. But then I saw a Brady Bunch episode, the Grand Canyon episodes, and there was a little brown boy that helped Bobby and Cindy when they got lost in the Grand Canyon. And I swear to God, I thought that little bitch was Filipino. He wasn't, he was Native American, he had a whole tribe with him. And they ended up having a little powwow at the end with the whole family, it was really beautiful. But then I saw the movie The Rock. And in the movie The Rock, when they released Sean Connery from the, from the uh, prison, and they put him up in a hotel, Right? And then he beats up all the FBI agents and he runs down through this fancy hotel all down the stairs and through into the fucking, into the, um, uh, into the, uh, hotel kitchen. And in the hotel kitchen he bangs into this fat Filipino and the fat Filipino says, Oi! Oh, I know, I Straight up, I was 15 years old and I was like, hold up, bitch, rewind that shit. Oi! Oh, I know, I that motherfucker just called Sean Connery the son of a bitch. And I knew what he said because I'm Filipino. <laughs> Representation matters, y'all. Yeah. For real. But that wasn't the inspiration for me to do all of this. Miscellaneous Brown's karaoke comedy spectacular. The inspiration for that came from Return of the Jedi. And in Return of the Jedi, when Luke and Leia land on the planet Endor and they're about to disable the shield from the Empire, right? And then they're separated because the Empire finds them and they're just racing through the woods and they're racing through the woods and then Leia crashes and she takes off her helmet because she's okay and she, her long flowing hair starts flowing and she looks beautiful. And then they cut the two Ewoks and the two Ewoks say exactly this. They say, Hui, get them home. Are you in? Now in Tagalog, in Filipino, that means, hey, look over there, she's beautiful. Ewoks are Filipino, though. <laughs> Ewoks are Filipino, and when I saw that shit, I said, I'm gonna be in one of these fucking movies. <laughs> and I'm gonna be the first Filipino Jedi. And I'll play it like Filipino uncle, because Filipino uncles are my heroes because they are the horniest individuals in the world. But I will play it like a Filipino uncle and I will play it like this. I'll say, boy, that is not the joint you're looking for. <laughs> May the force be with all of you. And Manny Pacquiao is still the best. <laughs> That isn't the first time. But anyway, I am going to show that. That's a real note for myself. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, but the reason why I'm standing up here doing comedy is because of a gentleman in a red leather suit named Eddie Murphy. Uh, I used to listen to Delirious because my dad only let me watch that shit once because he said he swears too much. So I listened and I recorded with my boombox. I recorded delirious on an audio cassette, and I listen to that shit walking to and from school every day in fifth grade, and I'm gonna stop telling the story before I start crying happy tears. But I'm gonna sing a karaoke song, and it's my favorite karaoke song to sing, and it's party all the time. Right? <laughs> we're about to do this, we're about to party.
Thank you. 